Hey you guys, let's get started on my equipment. I'm really excited to show you guys my favorites and everything. So first being, a lot of you guys were asking this when I uh, loaded it to my Instagram story and it's the cake spinner and what what brand it is. So this is the, Ate the Ateco 612 revolving cake decorating stand and it's uh, 12 inches and it's really thin. Um, this is one of my favorite. Every bakery I worked at, this was where they had the cake spinning table. This is where they, this is the one they used and I just absolutely fell in love with it. So um, this comes off and then it's a white base and it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty heavy so if you have a heavy cake on it, it's not gonna slide but um, I do like to um, put something underneath for it not to slide especially if you are on a slippery surface and then sometimes with time it gets a little the spinning thing doesn't always stay really nice and smooth so you could always oil it up but yeah this is my favorite cake spinning table and then it comes with this little thing so your cake doesn't move I personally love you would just get a piece of tape let me show you real quick I would just get a piece of tape and tape my uh, cake board down because I don't know this thing will just get full of buttercream and then you have to like rinse it or whatever because you know we all can't be perfect little things the buttercream does get everywhere so I would just tape it like that and then you would just tape your cake board down so that's what I prefer to I prefer to do and I just just look at that beauty it just spins so fast you're just like da 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 you pretend like you're driving pretty good um, it's pretty heavy, so if you have a heavy cake on it, it's not going to slide, but um, I do like to um, put something underneath for it not to slide, especially if you are on a slippery surface. And then sometimes with time, it gets a little, the spinning thing doesn't always stay really nice and smooth, so you could always oil it up. But yeah, this is my favorite cake spinning table, and then it comes with this little thing so your cake doesn't move. I personally love to put tape on it um, so that your cake doesn't move, which is what I prefer. So what I would do when I would decorate a cake is uh, you would just get a piece of tape. Let me show you real quick. I would just get a piece of tape and tape my uh, cake board down because, I don't know, this thing will just get full of buttercream and then you have to like rinse it or whatever because, you know, we all can be perfect little things. The buttercream does get everywhere. So I would just tape it like that and then you would just tape your cake board down. So that's what I prefer to I prefer to do and I just just look at that beauty. It just spins so fast. You're just like da 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 you pretend like you're driving a car. But anyways, I love this thing. My favorite holy grail of cake spinners thing. Okay, next. I'm going to show you my spatulas. To ice cakes on the sides, like um, the sides of the cakes, this is my favorite spatula. It's really nice. The handle is not too, I have very, very small hands, so I can't use spatulas that are, uh, what you would call it, too wide or too thick, so this is the Ateco. The number is uh, 1306. Everything I ordered off eBay, uh, not eBay, uh, Amazon, so I will link, I will try to find as many um, links as I can to get you guys these, but this is my favorite one. It's perfect, it's short, it's the perfect length of how, how tall a cake is. So it just, I love it, it works perfectly. We I've used this at every bakery that I've worked at. The only thing is that when you order it, I hate, I hate that they stick such a hard freaking like sticker on that. Like if you don't take it off perfectly, like you saw that, like I just fought with it. Um, the sticky surface gets stuck on there and I just, I do not like that at all. So yeah, this is my favorite spatula. Number two will be the little tiny one. It's an offset spatula, um, also at Teco. Most of my stuff is at Teco because it's just one of the main cake decorating brands out there and I just, 
I love it. It's really sturdy. Like they do not, well, this one's a little, but this one's like, they're way more, you know, they're good. So yeah, this is my favorite little one. This one I would use to do six inch cakes with. So I really love that one. So to get that flat surface on the top, I would, I love that one. So then I got, they also have this other one, which I believe is an eight inch. Yeah, this is a six inch. This is uh, eight inches and it's a lot thinner, but it has the wooden handle. It's really nice. This one will work good as well. This is the number 1386 and like I said, I will get the link for you guys. But yeah, I saw this and I'm used to always using this one, but I was like, hey, this might work for six inch cakes better because when I ice six inch cakes, I would like to use a smaller spatula because your six inch cake is so, it's tiny. So a big spatula like this, it just moves the layers sometimes and you just don't want it to worry if you have small control over a smaller spatula, it has less moving. So this might actually work for my six inch cakes. Pretty awesome. So I can't wait to try that one out. And then there's, everyone's seen this one. This is the normal offset large spatula and I love, I mostly just use this when I wanna get that extra precise crisp edge on the top. Um, I really, I mostly decorate my whole cake with this, the sides, the top, like everything, even my like decorations, like I use this. But this one's like when I really wanna get that really perfect crisp edge. Love it. This one is the regular spatula. It's not bended like the little off, let me see. So this is a straight one. Let me try to take this off. See, like I hate that they do this. Like why not just stick it on the bag? Ah, like I'm sweating here trying to, ugh, see, okay. See, if you're not careful, like the freaking sticky crap comes off. Whatever, I'll just have to soak it in hot water. So this, is the flat one, which I absolutely love. If you decorate a lot of mini cupcakes, which I did in my day, this was perfect for icing little mini cupcakes, or like I said, I would like to use it on my six inch cakes. Cause yeah, you can't put as much buttercream, but you have more control of your cake, sh your cake shifting. So I just, this is, I love this one. I love everything. And then, oh, I got two of these, cause why not? Um, ooh, and this one, this is, I don't rarely, I rarely see people use this. Again, let me try to get this damn sticker off. This is the best little pokey spatula ever. And it's the number, I don't know what number it was, 83? Um, this one, I freaking love this thing. This, if you've seen my videos, it's perfect for doing the um, the little lines that go textured up the side of the cake and like you could really dig in there. Also, when you're trying to clean your cake board from the excess, the excess uh, buttercream that gets on your cake board, like this is so precise, it just gets really in there and I just love it. Um, but yeah, everything else is just extra. I got extra because who doesn't want extra? And then the bench scraper, which is this. It's the number 1372. It's wooden. I usually use the ones that had the plastic thing, but um, they didn't have that one on eBay. So I had to get the wooden one. So we'll see how it works, but it's pretty much the same. I know the plastic one is a lot fatter, but I actually like how this one's thin because I had, like, again, I have really soft, small hands. Like, look, this is how small my hand is. So I really like this one. So, and I wanted to get more of these, but there wasn't that many left. So I had to get one. And I think this one was like $20 off of Amazon when I know other websites that would not ship to Hawaii, they were like 10 bucks. So you have to really dig for these. Um, but yeah, these are my favorite spatulas. You wanna take one look. And when I decorate cakes, like I'll tell you what uh, spatula I'm using, so. So tips that I ordered from Amazon, I got the normal 62 piece at Teco, uh, the at Teco set. Um, look at, they are just brand new. Um, this has everything, it even has the 127 tip, which I've never used, it's fatter. Huh, you can see that. 
So yeah, this is just the plain 62 piece Wilton. Is it Wilton or Ateco? No, it's Ateco as well. So like I said, I'll link this below and it comes with little nail heads, which is really nice. The little small ones, I really like that. And it just has basically all the small little tips that you need from like writing. It has all those, all those tiny little star tips. And then for ribbon, uh, not ribbon, like the um, basket weave cake, if you don't know what that is. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll do it on YouTube. But yeah, it has all the little flat, the little flat uh, ones. And then it has these crazy ones. This one, I was like, what am I ever going to use that for? Like, really? What am I ever going to use that for? And I used it on my Cookie Monster cake and grass. So that was nice. This I've never used in my entire life. I don't. I don't, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so, or like, so yeah, these are all different kinds of tips for me. Okay, so, and this, I finally saw what this is for. I've seen a lot of people use this to fill their cupcakes, which is really nice. You don't have to, I see a lot of people get one of these and cut the hole in it when you really don't have to do that. Um, we would just poke it with the spatula and that would be that and there was a hole. But now this, you don't got to do it. You just poke a hole. But then I'm like worried that if you do this like all the filling goes to the bottom of the paper i don't know but yeah so that's this and it gives you one coupler and just anyways whatever i saw this little kit i don't know the name exactly off the top of my head but i will find it and link it down below um this one i was really nice because i love this rose tip and the sucky thing is that these are not numbered i don't know like they're not numbered they're not named and I just love how thin this petal is going to come out. Like, I wonder if I'm able, going to be able to put more petals on my flowers because it's just so much thinner. And it has, like, these ones. These are really nice. So I'll link this down below if I can find it again. Um, but, yeah, these are just really nice. They have, they're more in-depth tips than the Teco regular classy ones. So like, I don't even know what that is. Like, that looks like a little flower, like a little leaf tip. And I've been wanting this tip because I think this is a tip that you make chrysanthemums, the chrysanthemums with. And I'm like, yes, I could finally do it. Because I saw, um, I tried doing it with this tip and it just did not come out as pretty as theirs did. I think it's because I use regular buttercream, but I have to learn how to make Swiss or play around with the Swiss one. And I want to try meringue as well, meringue buttercream. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I wish it was numbered, but it's not. So this is a really nice kit, and a lot of people DM me when I uh, when I Insta storied it that they had the same kit. So I was all like, they wanted more. They had people, oh, and it's, it looks like it's from Japan or Korea or whatever. So anyways, that's really nice. My favorite flower tip that I always go to, my holy grail, I'm in love, is, and it has to be the Wilton one, it's the Wilton 125 flower tip and you can see how it's thicker right here and it's really thin on top so I loved the how thin it was on top but if you can see the difference between this one and this one like do you see how much thinner it is so when you make a rose like the bottom is gonna have way more buttercream so it's if you put a lot of petals on a rose cupcake or uh, just a plain rose on a nail head like it tips over so I'm really excited to use that's why I'm excited to use this thin one and then for the smaller four inch cakes and mini cupcakes, I use the Wilton 104. And I just love, like, love, love, love the Wilton one because if you could see the Ateco brand, it's more square at the end, kind of, to where the Wilton is really rounded. And it's just thinner, and the, the petals come out so pretty with the Wilton 104. I just. This is my ride or die. These two were my ride or die flower tips. And of course, I will show you guys how to use them. And then this little baby is for uh, the hibiscus flower. You would, obviously, this part would go to the bottom and you would create that little ruffle petal. So this one's really nice. This is the bigger version. It's the 120. Um, for smaller cupcakes, I would use the, what is it? those 61 so if you see it's smaller so for many cupcakes you would use the 61 for larger 
cupcakes, you would use the 120. And like I said, when I teach you guys how to do my cupcakes, I will go more in depth about that. Um, oh, and this is the other leaf tip. This makes really pretty, just plain, to where this one has a texture to it. This is just a plain little like stick leaf. I don't know how to call it. These, I have never ever played with these before and I'm really interested to see how people do ribbons because I've seen videos and it's just so quick and so like you have to be fast for it to come out. So I don't know if I'm gonna like these because I love taking time on my ribbon cakes. Like I love making each petal and making it look ruffly to where this just looks like a a really fast ruffle and I'm not sure if I'm gonna like these but whatever you get to play around with it um, so yeah I got like tons of flower tips I'm just obsessed with them little cake I don't know if you see if you've seen that little that cake where you put the dot and then you swipe it I know I've seen it all over Pinterest these couplers is what you use for I would use couplers because it just gives you a perfectly round circle so these couplers are really, really good when it comes to that. But I only use this coupler for that purpose. I love couplers like this that have the little, um, the little, do you see the little peaks right there? Um, I really wanted Wilton ones, but on Amazon they were like $5. But I know at Michael's they're like a dollar for four. And I was just like, I'm not going to pay $4 for four or $5 for four when they're a dollar for four. When I, I was just like, whatever. So I ordered a different brand. Um, we'll see how these work. They were just, the Wilton ones are so easy to turn and they don't get stuck to where these, sometimes your plastic bag would get too tight to turn off and change tips. So I really love the Wilton. So then next, I got the Ateco 10 round pasty tubes. Um, these are really good for, um... When you want to make polka dot cakes, they give you every single size. So you go from big ones to little polka dots. And then you also use these for like the little pearl borders, which are really, really, really nice. So I'm excited I have all of these. And next is the, the Fine Star Pastry Tips. Also, at Teco, like I said, I'm going to link everything down below. These are perfect for, I love using these for unicorn cakes because it gives you that perfect little star push flower. I don't want to say flower, but just like a little, you push it. And it just gives a perfect little texture for those little ones. And then I got some extra random ones, which it came in this funny little kit, but like these are for really big rosettes like they will look really pretty because like I said they're not as many pokey things as the other one so your rosette's gonna look a lot more open same goes for this one like you see how fat it is like these will make really really fat rosettes though so keep in mind the fatter it is the more buttercream you're gonna get so if you don't want a lot of buttercream you know don't obviously use the the um the fatter one but so yeah, my holy grail of uh, type uh, rosettes is my 1M. So then um, I got this one. I don't know what this is for. I think it's for making petals, but I want to play with it. And this is for huge. Like whenever someone ordered a car cake and they wanted the street, I would just make one big strip of black and then put the little white lines on that. And then here's another pokey one. It's this 8827. This one's really good for uh, rosettes as well because it's a lot fatter and it's it gives you more of a prettier rosette and that's the 8, 846 at Tech. I had my 1M tip, but when I get it, I'll show you. And then I got a ton of nail heads and it's the number 913. Oh, that's made in Korea. Okay, so all these are made in Korea. Um, so yeah, I like them get them fatter because you can just make bigger roses and like I said my tip kit came with small ones so Nail heads and if you don't have those fancy little wooden things that you could put your um You know I've seen a lot of people on YouTube or uh, Instagram have those little wooden stands And they just stick their little nail thing in there and it holds their rose I just stab these in styrofoam and I put them all once I'm done and I stick them in the fridge and there you and then some of my tips came with these huge couplers, which is nice. Let's see this real quick. Oh, I think it's more for the Russian tips. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah. This is more for the Russian tip. 
Oh, that's cool. And I love this one because you can put three different colors and da 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 da. So, these just came with my Russian tip kit, which was really nice. But anyways, these are Russian tips. I know they just blew up recently. Not recently, but like maybe a year ago, they started to come into line. And we're like, oh my God, what are these? So the main ones I use, and these are not numbered, and I don't know why. I love to use that one. That one's really pretty, and I'll go more. When I ice a cake with them, like I'll show you guys before I use it. I never use the rose one. This one, if you guys saw my huge petal cake that has like a ton of petals, that's what I made the center little strings with. That one's really nice. And then this one. I know you guys all ask me what tip I use for that cake. And it's this one. It's the one that has the three because it makes them, like the petals overlap. And it's just, when I discovered this tip, my heart just like exploded with joy because I was like, oh my God, this is going to make the prettiest flower top cake and it did and like people just loved ordering it and it was just oh, I just love this tip I can't wait to guys to show you guys how I decorate that cake but this is a tip I use it for I never used that one this one I'm pretty sure it works like the little streaks in the center of flower I loved using this one I think that's the tulip tip I'm not sure and they sent me two of those so I think they jipped me and then this one has ridges. I've never used that, but I'll be interested to use that as well. That might be pretty for like a succulent cake. And then I've never used that one. Never used this. Like these, a lot of these, I'm like, what do you do with these? Um, but it's always fun to play. I just love them and I discovered what each one did. And it, it takes some practice to get it right. But once you get it right, like your flowers can be so amazing, so pretty. I know I've done quite a few cakes with these tips, so I just... I love these. These are amazing. Now on to, oh yeah, I use bench scrapers. Also these ones, these are good to um, smooth out cakes as well. I prefer the metal because once you, if you like work in a big bakery, like these get damaged, they get scratched and then they get dense. So then it doesn't give you that smooth finish, but these are good for scraping your bowl with buttercream. So these are really nice. I got two of these. But like I said, for cakes, I prefer the metal one. And then my cake circles. I, I'm going to open this because, you know, i got to show you detail. These are the 10-inch round thin drum. And I'll, like I said, I'll link these below. Everything I'm telling you, I got off of Amazon. Um, these are really nice because if you're a messy icer and you're in a hurry, especially with chocolate. Chocolate's one of the worst ones to keep clean. These are really nice because you could literally get a towel and wipe it and it's just like it's easy to clean and the bottom is wood and they're nice and thick and sturdy and these are just amazing and I bought a bunch of these these they make them from six inches to seven inch to eight inch to twelve I think I got all of them I still haven't ordered sprinkles yet I need to order a lot of sprinkles because you know who doesn't love sprinkles on cakes but I love using pearls on my flower cakes like in the center of them so these are the Wilton ones um, like I said, I'll link them down below. And if you taste one, I don't know if you guys ever ate one. They taste like nerds. So, these are really nice. And I saw that they on the website, they had a bunch of colors. So, I need to get more of these. But these are really nice for center of flowers. Like, I love these. I love, 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 love this brand. This brand of bags. There's bags out there that are really, really thin. Let me spit this little candy out. Are really thin and they just... Every time you stick a coupler in it or like a tip, it gets a stupid hole in it. And I just hate that. These are really nice and thick. And they're disposable decorating bags. And this box gives you 200 and I think I paid 50 bucks for it. And I got them in 12 and 18 inches. So I just love, love, love how thick that is. Let me get this out of the way. So I got them in 12 inch and 18 so for this little ones, I would use more so for when I need to write on a cake. You know, you could fill it up small. You don't need that much buttercream. For these, I used on my um, rose cakes because you need so much buttercream to get your rose on like the whole, get the colors to combine perfectly and just, you could just do way more with the bigger bags. So for decorating, I would use the bigger bags. But for like my rainbow top rose cake, I would use the smaller one. 
because you didn't need that much buttercream and it's just worked nice. So these, these are my holy grail pastry bags and I've tried every brand. Um, it took me a while to figure out which one was my favorite and it was so funny because when I would run out of bags, I would tell Megan, like, Megan, I would let her know before I ran out of bags and if I wasn't there, she would always get the wrong ones. And I'm like, Megan, I don't want to use these. Or she'd tell me they don't have any, they're out right now. And I would just get so sad, I would, <laughs> I would literally not be excited to make my, um, my piping bags. I'm like, no, they're gonna break, like I hate life. And all because I did not have the right bags. So it's what you prefer, I prefer these. They're nice and thick and I just love them. So these are nice. And then, oh, last but not least, Everyone asks me what dyes I use or what colors I use to decorate my buttercream and the best brand And I've used every brand like play with it every brand the best brand is the Americolor and these are just so so They're just amazing. I love these and I wanted to get the bigger bottles, but um they only had the small ones on Amazon, so I need to find out how to get bigger bottles. But I got this, um, let me see, three, this 12 pack for, it was a hundred bucks. Like these were expensive. Um, they gave you a 12 pack and it gave you basically every color you need. And this is what I used. A lot of you ask me how I get my red so red. It's the um, Super Red 220. A Mary color buttercream coloring. This is what I use to make my red so red. Now, a lot of you ask on they send me messages, how do you make your color so bright without it tasting nasty? And this is the thing. You can't add so much color to where it's not gonna taste anything. So when people would order bright ass colors, we would tell them, you know, it's gonna it might taste a little different, like you just, there's something if you want to deal with it. So what we would do is, I would do, is I would fill the center of the cake with regular buttercream that was not colored. And then I would use this on the outside. And let's, I mean me, when I eat a cake, I never eat the frosting. So a lot of people are like, oh my God, that's so much frosting. Like I would never. It's like with fondant. No one eats the fondant. You just peel it off. And like what matters is the cake. So... I would tell them, you know, how much really do you like sit there and like eat the frosting? And they're like, oh, yeah, well, not really. So they would they would believe me and they would still get the cake. And I would just tell them that I would put normal non-colored buttercream in the center. And then the outside is going to be really colorful, you know, and if it tastes different, like, you know, who really does eat all that buttercream? No one. Or unless you like have a really sugar, sugar sweet tooth. But um, yeah, I would use these and I would... I would, for the red, I would like, oh my god, I would stick so much red food coloring in it, but you know, no one eats the buttercream, so, and they're gluten free, peanut free and gluten free, which is really, really cool. Um, and then when I would have to add, when I would have to add a lot, and I'll explain this when I make gutter buttercream, when I had to add a lot of dye, I would cut back on the milk because everyone's like, oh my God, how do you get it to stay stiff when after I add all the food coloring, like it just gets so runny. This is how you cut down on the milk or the half and half, whatever you use to, the, whatever dairy you use on your buttercream, you cut it down like halfway because all this dye is gonna break up your buttercream and it's gonna make it softer. So the less milk you add, the more color you could add and it would stay stiff. And like I said, yeah, the taste is different, but what matters is the inside and no one eats the outside really. So, so yeah, that's what I would do when I would make colorful cakes and if they needed to be bright, I would just be like, you know, it's gonna taste different, so deal with it and you know, you know, you know. So that is what I used for colors. Best brand ever. And then a company sent me theirs to try and since I've moved and everything I haven't even been able to play with these so I'm really excited to try these they sent me little bottles so we'll see how these work out these are from chef master I'm really excited let me see if I get to swatch one real quick let me see how thick they are oh yeah they're pretty they seem good I won't know until I try it but yeah they sent me their brand of uh food coloring so we'll play with those I'll get to play with these which I love playing with new stuff so yeah I think that's pretty much it when it comes to my equipment 
Um, oh, and my mixer. Uh, working at bakeries, you work with different mixers, and I just love the globe. It's big, it's quiet, it's amazing. I obviously don't have one here, but one day I will make Bay buy me a globe. I think they're like two grand or a grand. I'm not sure. But for now, let me show you. Let me twist the camera. Let me move. And it's so pretty. I bought the uh, KitchenAid 8 quart. So that's really nice. It's really pretty. It's really big. The only thing with KitchenAids that I wish, I mean, I get it, whatever. It's a smaller version of a regular mixer. They're so noisy. Like, I just hate how noisy they are. And I'm going to have to, when I make buttercreams and stuff, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover. That's pretty much all my holy grail tools. Um, you'd be amazed what you could just do with one same spatula. Um, colors, tips, it's just so much fun to play with. And you know, I can't wait to do my first video. Look at my fingers, they're pink. I really can't wait to do my first video. Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> Disco dust. This stuff is, who doesn't love glitter? Now. <laughs> with disco dust it doesn't say that it's edible but it says non-toxic so every time you go to a cake place like they have this stuff but it, it does never say edible it just says non-toxic which is really funny so um I would drown my cakes in this and like I said no one really devours the buttercream on the outside my daughter's saying no. Like, look how pretty. I don't know if you could see, like, how pretty that is. But yeah, I usually use the clear rainbow one because it just makes everything sparkle. And I just, I would drown my cakes in this stuff. It's just so pretty and so perfect. These, I think, are like $7 each. I got them for $7 each. But love these. I need to get more of them. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed like I said when I make my cake videos I could go more in depth of how to use them how to push on the bag to get that perfect uh, flour and I'll just go more in depth when I do cakes but that's pretty much the gist oh and they sent me this big ass coupler I don't know what this is for I think it's for these ones oh yeah there you go that's really nice that'll be fun Oh yeah. Oh, I want to show you guys the cake. Not the cake. The little stand that I got to hold my uh, camera on. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my god, what is that? Where did you get it? And one of my followers actually tagged me to it. And I was like, oh my god. So let me show you. I'm actually going to have to... Just to get my iPad because it's holding my phone right now. So this is the the stand that I got, and you can see on Instagram it shows you the D, and it's the Archon. So it's the at Archon dash mounts. If you go there, oh, let me move my iPad up. To see, it's the Archon mounts, and that's where I got my stand. And thank you for watching. I really guys, you guys hoped you enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed sharing everything with you. Um, and when I get more equipment, obviously, I'll tell you what it is, where it's from, and how to get it. But yeah, this is like my holy grail. This is what I need to start off with because it's just simple, and I just love it. And thank you guys so much. And until next time, my next video is buttercream. Cream. All right. Love you guys and thank you so much. Bye-bye.